up to Farm Fest. The purpose of this exercise is to showcase what we do here at Ebony Park in the first instance, and secondly, to emphasize and to promote the, the, the work done in Jamaica on agro-tourism. In 2006, the Institute for International, International Institute for Cooperation and Agriculture, ECA, had commissioned the University of the West Indies to conduct a study of the market potential of agro-tourism in Jamaica. I was a researcher that conducted that initial investigation on behalf of ECA. And what I determined at that time was that there are three areas in which ecotourism, agro ecotourism had a link. These are raw produce, which is the area that most people think when uh, of linking agriculture and tourism. There was minimal process, which means jams, jellies, sauces, and things of that nature. And value-added products, which we have not yet really exploited, but which we need to exploit, because they link us to our indigenous flora that um, are here and have value. At that time, the purpose of the study was, as I said, was to determine market potential. Having discovered that there was indeed market potential, they either then ramped up their, their proposal to create new opportunities. Arising from that, Jamaica moved away from the concept of agritourism, which really promotes this long-term stay on farms, because our farms do not lend themselves to that. But we rather instead promoted issues of attraction, tourism, events, and looking at the minimal raw and value-added processes, linking them by the supply chain to the tourism industry. What has emerged from that is very interesting. At the same time, the European Union had given Jamaica grants uh, for um, competitiveness in the area of clustering. And what emerged were several clusters around tourism and agriculture. From that has emerged a number of suppliers who have created their own spa lines, for example, using Jamaica indigenous uh, flora and fauna. It, the reason that we would like to highlight agro-tourism to you is that in Hard Trust, we are going to use the opportunity to brand it not just Ebony Park, but to use this integrated approach to link all of our, our, our production capability to tourism. In that, we will use the runway bay to reflect our natural product in terms of food, our natural juices, our spa lines in terms of soaps and lotions and value added. And we will also begin to do serious research in the areas of nutraceuticals and functional foods. So ladies and gentlemen, as you walk around Ivory Park today and you see the wonderful work that they have done in the area of agro-processing, let this be a beginning of the idea that Jamaica can indeed become competitive in these areas. We do have the capacity. And if we use the tourism industry strategically by introducing the visitor to our products and to our, our natural um, products and services in Jamaica, we create that brand awareness and indeed we create a competitive strategy. So once again, welcome to Ebony Park. Thank you very much for being here and we're sure you're going to enjoy the day.